All right, welcome to the Penguin Optimizer Rundown. I'm hyped to finally show you guys what this thing is. I think it's a cheat code. Um, I think you will too, once you better understand what's going on. And yeah, that's just my main goal. Just to kind of explain this thing, help you better understand it, and just really use it to your advantage. So um, in general, this thing is pulling all the live odds from these different sports books for these different markets. So FanDuel, DraftKings, Bet365, ETC, it's pulling all the current odds from those books, putting it all in one place for us to use to our advantage. So I'm going to explain a couple ways to use it. But first, let me show you how to navigate through this thing. So up here, we have four different boxes. These two over here are basically just setting the range that is shown. So I have a preset to minus 250 to plus 250 because that's usually the range I stay in. But if you ever want to change it to minus 1,000, plus 1,000, be my guest. And it will auto-populate everything in that range. Um, these two over here are just filters. So this one to the left is by league. So I type in MLB, and it's just going to change everything to only MLB props. Same thing for NBA. Type in NBA. Everything will be NBA only. This one is just more specific. So you do like a team. So you do like Cavaliers. And everything will be from Cavaliers. Cavaliers uh, magic. Everything from that game will be shown. Do the same thing. Lakers. Everything from the Nuggets Lakers. All right here. Um, then you could also search like a player. So you search like LeBron and all LeBron props with all the live current odds from the books. And if you ever feel like you're sitting on here for a while and you think the odds might have changed, just hit refresh list over here and it'll change um, and just make sure everything's up to date, all the odds. And you could also do the same thing if you refresh the entire page. The only problem is you'll lose your filters. So you type in NBA and type in LeBron and you're back to where you were. So also you could change these different rows. This one, alphabetical order. You could change all these different books. And the coolest thing about this is each one of these boxes is set to bring you directly to that bet in the sports book. So like, Say you want to bet LeBron James over 25 and a half points. You want to bet it on DraftKings. Click on this box, brings you to DraftKings, and auto fills the bet for you. That way you're saving time having to open up DraftKings and finding the prop. It just saves time and helps you not lose that price. So you could really do it for any of these books. Some of them will, like ESPN bet, will take you right where you need to be. So like it's going to take you to player props, It's but it, it's not set to fill it for you yet. We're still working on it, but um, there you go. Minus 110, over 25 and a half, which is the exact price that's shown here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how you navigate through the optimizer. Um, now I'll just quickly show you a couple ways to use it. There's so many different ways. I'm just going to show you two today, and maybe I could hop on another time and show you the rest, but... Um, I think these first two will be very helpful. So say you already have a prop in mind, right? Say Darius Garland, you want to bet his over 15 and a half points. Um, and you don't want to look at every single book and see where you could get the cheapest price. You just search it, find his prop, and you could quickly see which one will be the cheapest. So here you go. Minus 122 DraftKings. Best price by far. Click on it. Autofill in the book. And there you go. Bet on Darius Garland over 15 and a half points. And it's just an easy way to find the best price for what you're looking for. Um, the second way you could use it, it's actually a good example. You could kind of find discrepancies between the sports books and see if it's worth betting on. 
you kind of use this as a compass to find different props. So that's that's actually a really good example. So bet th um sorry, Pinnacle has Darius Garland at minus 154 to go over 15 and a half points. ESPN bet has it minus 160. Fliff has it minus 140. So those are pretty juiced. And in general, this is all um pretty juiced. And this line might even move. You can kind of tell by the way the market's moving. But since the books are setting the implied probability for him to go over at such a juicy price, that means their like formula or however they make the odds, they think he's probably going to go over. But you could get it at a fair price on DraftKings, and you might just be catching DraftKings sleeping right now, not moving the odds, which I it, more times than not, it, you, it usually moves towards where most of these are. So you could go look into it, um, go see how does Darius Garland play against the Magic? How did he do in game one? How does he play at home? How did he do versus them this entire season? You just go look at all those different angles and see if you could find why these different books are setting this price so expensive compared to DraftKings. And if you're like, all right, yeah, that actually makes sense. I think he's going to score over 15 and a half points pull the trigger on DraftKings at the cheaper price. And you could just line shop this whole optimizer. So say you want to make it more general. So Cavaliers. So it's showing all the props from the Cavaliers game. You just scroll. I think it's best to set highest to lowest odds, um, at least for one of the books. So you just click on one of them. We'll do DraftKings for right now. And... You just kind of line shot. So you're just scrolling through, trying to find a discrepancy, just like I showed you. So like, here's a little bit of one. Uh, Karis Liver over two and a half assists. It's minus 148 here, but it's super juiced everywhere else. So you could probably assume this, this minus 148 is going to move to something like minus 160, minus 170. And you could take advantage of the cheaper price um, if you want, I use it as a compass to kind of just, all right, why are these books so juiced? Like they really think that's going to happen. And I'll go look into it and just see if I think that's going to happen. But minus 145 is still a little juicy. So let's like keep looking to see if we could find a better one. Um, let's see here. There's the Darius Garland is points. Um, let's find a more. Here's a good one. So Paolo Banchero, Bancaro, under five and a half assist. So you see all these books, minus 165, minus 150, minus 160, minus 156. But you can get it on DraftKings for minus 125. And you can assume this is probably going to move to where these are. Because if the majority has it that juiced, it's probably going to move there. And it's really just DraftKings, maybe even um, just acting slower than the other books. And they haven't moved it yet. Maybe they got a lot of money on that bet. And they haven't moved it yet. But you can just assume that it's going to go there. And you kind of, you basically have to look at it like all these different books are set that juice for a reason. Their formulas think he's going to go under five and a half assist. And if these are agreeing, that's a good sign. If the majority are agreeing that it should be that juice, that's a good sign. Um, and you kind of just look deeper into this prop and you could take advantage by clicking here, whatever, and taking at a much cheaper price. So that's another way to use it. And you could just constantly scroll up and down, try to find those discrepancies and just kind of use it as a compass to find value.